Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPPNet video series on C++ and this video is about how to run a thread in the background and what actually it means. Is it going to run in the background meaning you won't be able to touch it or like what background exactly means and can you actually kill that thread? We'll answer all those things in this video. So keep watching till the end. So the first question's answer is you will create a background thread using a detach function meaning you will create a thread and i hope you know like how to create threads and all that and if you don't know please watch my previous videos i mean first few videos of this playlist you will be able to understand this pretty good so we have created a thread now after creating a thread you have to either join it joining meaning you will wait here till this thread is getting completed otherwise what you can say I will detach it. Detach meaning I will detach it from the main thread. Now it doesn't wait for this thread. I mean T1 thread. It will go ahead and do its job. So you know like how application work, right? You run this main function which is under one thread and this thread is spawning another thread and that thread you are saying I want to run that in the background. So this is for running in the background. Now second question, if your main function is getting terminated, meaning it is hitting this return zero, it is completed, it did its job and then what? Like you detach this thread, is it going to still persist? No. It is not. The moment your operating system sees that, okay, the program or the application where this thread belongs to is getting terminated, then this thread will be terminated automatically. And now you might be wondering that why this is called daemon. The point is, there is a concept in Unix where you fire and forget the Unix process. And that was called daemon. And the same terminology is used for this also. So this is also like fire and forget. You created a thread and then it will do its job. Mostly you don't want to do anything with this thread. So that thread know like what to do itself. Like for example, yeah, this is very important. For example, if you're running some application, this is your application and you want to analyze the whole system performance, like what is the current CPU usage or memory usage, then you run or fire a daemon thread in your application and you keep doing your stuff and that thread will take care of everything like how much is cpu occupied or memory is occupied so basically the whole idea of daemon thread is that i don't want to share any data with that thread that is the first signal you will get to decide whether you should keep some thread daemon or not because if you detach a thread then you no longer have any control over this thread you can't even kill this thread from a main thread and now you might be thinking that if the ownership is not here because someone have to own the thread thread cannot run just on its own someone have to own it and then there comes a c plus plus runtime library so if you detach a thread then the owner of that thread would be c plus plus runtime library and then the job of releasing all the resources what is actually occupied by this daemon thread is on C++ runtime library. Because if some thread goes down, then it has to release all the resources or pointers or I mean pointer meaning if it was holding something, it will have to release that and that is made sure by C++ runtime library. So let's quickly run this. As you can see, I have started a thread here, which is a daemon thread. I will call detach, which will make it a daemon thread. Then it won't be available here. And then I'm telling for this main thread to sleep for five seconds so that I can show you these messages getting printed for at least one seconds interval. So it will be five times printed. Let's quickly see that. I'll run this and see it is printing four and five and then it will get terminated. So I'll explain you the scenario here. What is happening actually, the moment this main is finished waiting for five seconds, it will hit this return zero and then operating system will see that, okay, there is one more thread running, which is associated with this process. So I'll have to kill this thread. So operating system is actually taking care of killing this thread. You don't have to do anything with this. Now, there are so many questions with this, like what if I want to handle this thread? I mean killing of this thread 
can be handled from anywhere yes it is possible you may have to create a, a global variable or mutex or something like that so that you can modify that variable in main thread or somewhere else and the daemon thread is actually keeping track of that variable if it is turned on then i'll have to kill myself or complete my job or something like that otherwise there is no direct communication from here to this thread or we can implement signal handler all those things will come in the future if you ask for so this is for the introduction of daemon threads if you want to see more videos on this topic consider subscribing my channel so that you won't miss anything and the next video is how to pass the ownership of your thread whatever thread you have created here you can pass the ownership of that thread to some another thread and what is the application of that and all those things will be coming in the next video so keep watching and keep learning thanks for watching guys bye bye take care